Hello, everyone. Welcome to Game Talk Live. That's right. I'm Paul. To my right, with a thumbs up, is Todd and Royce. Hello. It's Game Talk Live. Like I said, so Arma 3, right? Very popular the game from yes. Bohemia Interactive. Yes. It's modded quite frequently. Someone modded it to not include zombies. Oh, thank God. But dinosaurs. So here's the business. Someone at Arma 3, they were doing an animation test. And they're like, oh, I guess it'll be cool if we throw dinosaurs in there. This is the test video footage that they came up with. Okay. And it got... <laughs> and this comes with it as a bonus. You don't ever see any dinosaurs in video no. games anymore. Hey, what the hell are you talking about? There's plenty. <laughs> uh, remember how much you guys paid for this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, remember. Oh, fair point. Mario? Mario didn't have dinosaurs. Oh, jeez. Holy crap. And then... Okay. <laughs> And we're off the rails. There we go. AI, AI oh. did it again. And then Why back to this crap. Oh, whoops. Another very interesting story. Let me just verify that my Microsoft Word is working, and it is. <laughs> um, Xbox One has Twitch support. So anyway, March 11th, Titanfall comes on Xbox One. Also, the Twitch, Twitch functionality will work. Now, what's the difference between this and PS4? You ask a lot of good questions, Todd. Now, the PS4, you can broadcast to Twitch. Yes. But it's a different experience in the Xbox One, and then in the Xbox One, you can also spectate on people. Oh. This is all according to the Xbox so, One Mi Microsoft media department. Yeah, because they have that connect. Yeah. So this is, we got this story from Xbox Wire. They first broke it. And, you know, the, to quote one of the people that is promoting this, yeah. they're say, they are saying, we decided to take our time with this, hence delay it four months after the P PS4. We want to broadcast to any device and consume content from any device this is a console experience unique to the Xbox One. But it's a totally different way of experiencing Twitch. Yeah, because you can see the people actually playing. Correct, and interact with them. Now, Without them even knowing it, because you, you can NSA in to the Kinect cam and absolutely. just observe people. There's really not going to be that much of a difference because it's going to be different between the PC streamer, the Xbox streamer, and the PS4 streamer. It's all going to be different, so it really doesn't matter. Well, okay. it's different, but that doesn't mean one can't be better than another, though. With the Xbox One, you're able to stream and enjoy someone's else, some another broadcast. So I do think it's a big deal. Also, hey, excellent camo. Yeah, Wolston. I, is that how you sleep at night? Maybe. <laughs> but first, the next story is about Blizzard and World of Warcraft charging sixty dollars to level up. Uh, I used to play World of Warcraft. That's why I was trying not to be drawn into the story, but uh, damn you, Warcraft. You had some World of Warcraft days, right? I played from the very beginning. Of World of Warcraft. This bothers me here a little bit. Well, okay, let me get into the specifics. This bugs me. What it is is World of Warcraft yeah. Blizzard is charging people $60 to level up to 90 Yes. That's the business. That's retarded. And they're saying they are charging $60 specifically because they want to respect the idea of leveling up. Yeah. No. That's not respecting Well, why up. not? Leveling up takes hundreds of hours. Sure. Right? That's actually the process by which you learn how to play your tune, learn all the intricacies of his character, learn all his magic secrets. So what's... That's what, also how you discover where everything is in the land because you're leveling up. Just to jump there, you're going to find some guy at level 90 that just got his account that day and you put him into a group with you to go get some epic loot and you find out the dude's a dumbass. So should they be not allowing the, uh, the ability to sell no, it all? they could do it, but it, that what they should do is take all those people that buy level boost and put them on a single server called Clown Server and just leave them there. So you That's think, all they should do. So you think they should vilify their consumer base? No, they shouldn't vilify it. But well, isn't that vilifying them by calling it Clown Server? should not mix a bunch of boosted level tunes with players that don't know how to play their tune with a bunch of organically leveling tunes. But won't they get smoked? And won't won't, won't Look, the Wii take care of Everyone eventually gets smoked in life, Paul. Lords of Shadow 2. Ooh. Trailer launched today. It's Castlevania, one of the most popular franchises in the history of space and time. Konami game. Saw you, this at E3. If you grew up with so, uh, Super Nintendo or a Nintendo or a PC, you're very familiar with Castlevania. Yeah. This series has evolved to where it has almost nothing to do with an original. Uh, let's play a little video here, AI, just to give people a picture. Okay. Whoa! Ah, magic. This looks oh. like our opening graphic. So David Blaine's in this game? He sure is. Did he marry... No, that was the other guy. See, this is just horrible. This looks nothing like Castlevania. Well, you know what? It's like Marvel. Final Fantasy. So what's wrong with that? The fact that... It's Castlevania and not Final Fantasy. So you want an old school scroller or what? Anyway, uh, so I'm he's not a robot. a robot. Thank you. So look, he's got his own posse now. See what happened? So the robot right. union is like, oh, oh we're not robots. Well, yeah, exactly. It, it doesn't matter what the review says. You guys should play the game yourself and then make that determination. Wasn't it supposed to be more darker than that? 
It's definitely darker. I think it's it's a the thing that's interesting. The one of the we haven't played this. But one of the reviews I thought is this. The original, the previous Lords of Shadows didn't take itself too seriously. Yeah. This one does. Well, everything's serious now, thanks yeah. to Twilight. Yeah. Like, imagine so, if Twilight was a comedy. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that was really oh. a game changer. Oh, but they Twilight, made it serious. Twilight really threw up the game industry. So, um, and now this. So, yes, yeah, I think it's darker. I don't know about the whole lot, hell of a lot about the mechanics. I guess they've introduced a stealth-based aspect yeah. to it, which sounds kind of dumb. Um, I don't know. Okay. There's a trailer for it. It came out today. Take a peek at it if you'd like. Right. Well, I can't wait to go play Thief. I mean, <laughs> Castlevania. Yeah. So guys, I'm Paul. He's Todd. We'll catch you here tomorrow, 5 o'clock Pacific time. Thank you so much. Pacific. No choice but to take a stand. I don't care if I'm wrong or